The world would end on Thursday at five to four, immediately after the disco. Until then, the nearest we'd come to such a cataclysm at Merton Grange were the rumours of apocalypse that took hold once or twice a term, the circumstances broadly the same each time. Nothing as banal as a solar flare or asteroid. Instead, a tabloid would report a Mayan prophecy, some throwaway remark from Nostradamus or freak symmetry of the calendar, and word would spread that our faces were due to melt off halfway through double physics. Resigned to the hysteria, the teacher would sigh and pause the lesson while we squabbled over who had the most accurate watch, and the countdown would begin. The girls clinging to each other, eyes closed and shoulders hunched, as if about to be doused with icy water. The boys brazening it out, all of us secretly contemplating the missed kiss, the unsettled score, our virginity, our friends, our parents' faces. Four, three, two. We'd hold our breath. Then someone would shout, bang, and we'd laugh. Relieved and just a little disappointed to find ourselves alive, but alive in double physics. Happy now? Let's get back to work, shall we? And we'd return to what happens when a force of one newton causes a body to move through a distance of one metre. <laughs>